What is up internet? How are you people? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a sim file, a step chart to a song from scratch. And this is the perfect time to do that because I am currently hosting a sim file tournament. The video, the rules, everything, I'll leave a link to it in the description. But just to give you guys a quick sum up, we already have $40 donated to the prize pool. So we're going to have a first, second, and third prize. It's going to be fun. All you got to do is submit it in the Discord. That's it. You could win. Without further ado, let's get into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is grab an audio file. My daughter actually made this audio file for me using some kind of website or something like that. So that way I won't get copyrighted on this video. So if the sound quality isn't the best, we're using this as an example. This is the song file that I have. I cut this song down to around two minutes. That's a tutorial for a whole other video. If you guys want to see something like that, leave a comment below and I'll make sure to make a video about how to cut a song down for DDR, ITG length. But I already have the song cut. So I want to show you how we're going to go about the process of making a SIM file now. Once you have your MP3, you're going to export it. You can use your MP3 as is. Stepmania works with MP3s, but I like to use .ogg format. So I'm going to click this, and then you will see it says potato chip .og. Right here, .og vorbis file. I already have it, so I'm going to skip to that step now. Depending on how you have your Stepmania structured, I'm using Outfox. We're gonna go into wherever your songs folder is. So here's my songs folder. We're gonna go into 2025, cause that's what year we are in. And then I have this thing called new SIM file. So what I basically do is just press Command D and that'll duplicate it, right? You could also leave it as a zip file and then just open it the zip will always be there, but it'll just create a new, well, just extract the folder and you'll always have a new SIM file template ready to go. I'm going to leave a link to this that you could download in the description so you don't have to make your own folder like this, but that's what I do. So I'm going to name this potato chip and then I'm going to paste the music file that's already cut in here. There's a few things that you can do here. First thing is I would recommend copying the name, taking the SIM file file, renaming it that, and then you could go on with the other stuff. If you want to make a background, depending, this is like a square aspect ratio background and this is a 16 by nine aspect ratio background. So I'm going to delete this one. These are all Photoshop files. I want to open this. Now I already made a background for it, but I'm just going to show you like what's the process of doing that. What I did was go on Google and type in anime potato chip. And then I found basically this image. <laughs> I removed the background and I kind of copied the original image it came from. And then I just added text. That was it. So I made this background. Again, if you guys want a video about how to make a background, let me know in the comments below. But once you have your background set, you save as, I like to use PNG. And then what I like to do is copy all those files and make a banner out of it as well. So you see the things are moved around a little bit. I don't do jackets. I like the old school style. I'm a old school DDR player. So just background and banner. I'm happy. Once you have all that set up, you're then going to open this file and you're going to see some info that you're going to have to input. So for title, I'm just going to put potato chip. For artist, my daughter said her artist name when she makes music is going to be BB Tori. <laughs> so you could also put a subtitle like smaller text near it but I like to keep it like that. And then you don't have to put the music file. It'll automatically detect the music file in the folder. But what I like to do is, for example, let's say this was named potato chip dash BN. Let's just pretend that that was a PNG, okay? What you would do is 
go to banner and background. Oh, my light that out. That's nice. Sorry about the lighting. Uh, banner and background, and then put PNG or .jpg, whatever you like your file to be. You're going to input it there. And then the last step we need to worry about is BPM. The beats per minute for the song, the majority of the song, you're going to want to input it here. If there's changes, we'll work on that in the editor, but you want to put the main beats per minute in here. The way I find a song's beats per minute is I open up a private web browsing tab and I type in BPM Finder. I'll go to this website and then I'll go to wherever the MP3 was located. So that could be either in Stepmania or in your downloads folder. So right here is my MP3. BPM's 103. So inside of that file, we'll just type in 103 and then you're going to press save once you're done you should have a folder that looks like this these four files is pretty much what you're going to start off with step mania might create more files but that's not for you to worry about this is how you're going to get the song started to be involved in step mania now we're ready to actually add a step chart you're going to click on edit mode go to the folder that you want to use and then there's the song that I just imported. Pretty simple. I typically make step charts for challenge or expert, if we're talking DDR terms. I do that first. And then if I want to add more charts, like if I want to make it a full step file, including like easy, medium, whatever, I'll work on those later. I usually work on challenge first or in the grooves version of expert. So you can see it has the question mark. We're going to click create new. Now we are in the editor. There's a lot of text on screen that give you information about like what you're looking at and stuff like that. I want you guys to just focus on what I'm telling you for now and we can learn about the other stuff later. First thing I'm gonna do is I wanna set my speed because the song is 103 beats per minute. I like my scroll speed to be around 520. Go into options, X multiplier. We'll put it there. I like mini a little bit. Put my note skin. By the way, this note skin is available for download for free in the description. It is the logo of this channel. I like assist tick. And then we're going to click exit. So if I just press play here, it's blank. I could already tell it's off a bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put some random arrows just so we could sync this because it's definitely gonna be off sync. Yeah, way off. So the way that we sync this, I don't know if it's different on Windows, you might have to mess around with the buttons a little bit, but on Mac, I'm gonna hold in function because I'm gonna be pressing F11, F12, F10, those function keys, and I don't want it to constantly raise the volume and stuff like that. So by holding in function, we're just gonna be pressing the button without doing like Mac options, okay? So, press play. I like where this is at. I think that is on sync for now. So I'm just gonna get rid of all these. I could press A, clear area. I forgot that this was like a beginner's tutorial. So let me just explain what I'm doing here. The arrows are on one, two, three, and four. That's how I'm putting left, down, up, and right on the screen. So right now, just for an example, on the sixth measure, I can press one. That'll put that, two, three, four. 
that's how I'm putting the arrows. Left and right will get you to, as you can see on the top right of the screen, eight notes, six twelfth notes, sixteenth, twenty-fourth, and so on. For the most part, most songs used fourth, eighth, and sixteenth notes. You might get songs here and there that use twelfth and twenty-fourth notes, but in my experience, that's mostly what you're going to be using. It's very rare that you get into like 30 second notes and above. It happens, but it's rare. So I'm just going to keep it at 16th notes for this song because that seems like what I'm going to be using for the most part. So to get that, you just push left and right on the keyboard. Okay, so I take it back. We already have a situation where we have to put a 30 second note. So I only heard the song once before putting it in the game. I kind of forgot what it is gonna offer. Right now I'm at 30 second notes. Okay. I'm not going to include one. If you wanted to add a freeze arrow for some reason here or anywhere in a song, you would hold down that arrow and move down with the keyboard. So if I wanted to do something like that, that's how that would look. If you want to do it with a roll, you would hold in shift and that number arrow. So shift and four, and now we have a roll. For those of you who don't know what a roll is, a roll is something you'll have to keep pressing. Pressing it to the beat of the music, like you keep tapping it. I'm gonna leave that blank for now. And it sounds like we have a BPM change coming. So I'm just gonna press play so I can hear the song. We'll keep track of what measures we're at and then we'll go from there. If we wanted to include a BPM change, it would go to 16. So I'm going to highlight from 12 to 16, and we're going to slow the BPM down by half. That way it's a slowdown. So I'm going to press A, and then we're going to go to tempo, and we're going to compress. So now, if you wanted to use something that would represent a 16th note, you would have to use 30 second notes because you slowed down by half. 
if you want to use 16th notes in a speed up in a double BPM situation, then you would have to use eight notes. So a couple things to keep in mind, but it makes sense when you think about it. So I'm gonna do a weird pattern here because the instrument flute thing sounds like it's doubling, like it's playing the same note twice in a row. So let's see if we can do that right. Now would probably be a good time to introduce mines or shock arrows, depending on what game you grew up playing. So to get to that menu, we're just gonna press M, and then I'm gonna add four and a little bit of a design. That way we give the player a little bit time to jump off of the pad. So Now that I think of it, the mines are not gonna match like that, so I'm just gonna make a straight line. We'll make like a shock arrow situation. So then automatically the song is going to re-speed up again. I think you guys got the hint already. You don't need to watch me finish this whole song, but that's just basically how you get a sim file into Stepmania and into the editor. Once you're done creating the sim file, you're gonna go to edit steps information. I like to rate things on the new DDR scale. So I'll rate this a 14 because of the low BPM. It's not really that complicated, I would think. Possibly a 15 if you guys wanna go there. Step author, my name. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm happy with that. Then we go to exit, gameplay. And then we're going to go to the folder that it is located in. So, there you go. It shows up. Obviously, this chart is not finished yet, so it doesn't have all the amount of steps and stuff that it should. But there it is in the game, ready to go. Just to show you how the background loaded. Everything's good to go. So there's a lot of stuff I didn't cover in this video. Things like when should you add jumps? When is it appropriate to add mines? Are rolls even necessary if you could just put taps? Like you could put a string of eight notes and make jacks instead of having rolls. These are all things that are subjective. They're all... Think of it like an artist painting, right? You have your canvas in front of you and you could use any paintbrush, any color to make what you think is good. There's not really a right answer. There's definitely wrong answers. Like you definitely don't want a bunch of unnecessary double steps. You don't want crossovers that lead into nothing. Something I had trouble with when I started creating step charts like 20 years ago, I would always have the player facing to the right. I never implemented left facing patterns, okay? So patterns like left down up right was mostly being used. These are things that you learn how to iron out over time. The main thing is to have fun with this. Creating step charts is like really fun, really addicting. I've charted well over a thousand songs in my 20 plus years of using Step Mania. It's one of my favorite hobbies. Taking a song that you just heard on the radio that sounds like it has potential and adding it into Step Mania and seeing a like masterpiece form in front of your eyes is really freaking awesome. If any of you people have a request for any other type of video you want to see, any other kind of tutorial or whatever, let me know. Leave a comment below. I am Nivik, and you are a blessing. Thanks for watching.